Okay. Good morning. It's the day of the start of the trip. It's 6 a.m. here in Terrace. Leaving in nine hours. And then the real adventure begins. <laughs> Here I am waiting at the airport for Adrian. His plane just landed and ready to go and pick him up and bring him back to Kitimat. Making bacon and looking good, dude. <laughs> Hash browns, lunch is made. Maybe a hike day. We shall see. <laughs> Might rain. It is pouring rain. We're initially going to do a hike called Gunsight Lake. Um, which goes up to a lake, obviously, but there's not going to be a view and again the rain. So instead, a two-hour drive from yeah. Kitimat, um, I go through Terrace on I think it's Highway 116, but the Kanishka Highway, and we're going to go check out the uh, lava bed park up there and some of the viewpoints there. And oh my God! Hopefully, it's less less rainy. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in too. No, it's closed. This bridge is so sick. <laughs> There's the bridge we didn't get to go on. We will later though. <laughs> we'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. Christ. This guy's gotta speed up just a little bit. <laughs> nice 40 kilometers this an hour. This is like an 80 road. <laughs> oh my. Gingles, there's a That's our 169 kilometers. Quick pit stop at some um, viewpoint. So, quick rundown while Adrian gets the drone ready. Um, this area that we have stopped at right now is the Kitsum Kalem River and in the Nishka territory. And that's our first stop. Hopefully, we have some drone footage to Back go with up. this. <laughs> Known by locals as the pea tree. Renowned pea tree. Ah, what the, what the heck? <laughs> it's watered. It's gone. Oh, that's so cool. It's just on the side of the road. There, that old water. We fill it with the good pea tree water. Nice. Rosswood General Store. Book. Libraries are everywhere. We got we got a little hole. Salt water taffy. Some nutty. Nutty club and popcorn and some some climax candy. Climax mixture. <laughs> Had to do it. <laughs> got my mosquito. This looks unreal. Yeah, this is cool. I find we're officially in the park. So this is Adrian doing what old people should do when they're camping or hiking, which is picking up other people's trash that they've left on the trails and putting it in the garbage. Be like Adrian, be like the monkey man, don't litter. <laughs> this is where we are right now. 
Oh, what the? This looks insane. Fun fact of day one, the first thing that bears eat when they come out of hibernation is actually skunk cabbage. What is skunk cabbage? You know what skunk cabbage is? No. It's like the big, we'll put, we'll put a photo in the vlog. It's like a big, I'll, I'll, I'll put a it looks bit. like a okay. cabbage and it smells like skunk and they have it in Vancouver. So it is. It's kind of surprising. You know what it I figure if I see it, I'll, it lives I'll in swamps. It. It's got a yellow flower, like a big... Okay, we'll, we'll I have put to it look at it. We'll put it. <laughs> I'll put it up right somewhere on right the screen. There. <laughs> right, right there. Point at it. Skunk cabbage. Skunk cabbage. <laughs> okay. Bow Pre Falls. How's it look? It's awesome. What the heck? <laughs> Gas. The boys couldn't figure it out, but we, we got it done. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, she's gonna approve it. <laughs> Not yet. She's gotta approve it. Maybe she'll. Just give it a second. <laughs> we got the gas. Yeah. <laughs> we survived. Off to towards Gingles. Gingles. We're at Tree Past. I think we're walking over that Tree. And it cooled at just the right timing to make a hole. Yes. <laughs> but it's just crazy the amount of area that this lava reached. We got another fun fact from our tour guide right here. I could be wrong because I haven't looked at the, the Kingo's tourism page recently, but. Uh, the highway, the stretch of highway that we're on right connecting now. Gingles to Terrace and like main cities, I believe was built so, like five ish years ago. So it's like super, super new because this place used to be completely isolated from like it's pretty much. So you can just access it from the sea, I guess? Then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they just created this highway to connect the Nass Valley, which is like where the Nishka people are. Yeah, so it's very, not a lot of people go this way. So. Cool experience. Yeah, totally. That is the Nass River. Nass River. <laughs> Skunk cabbage. Yum. It's the 
the big leaves like a lettuce. <laughs> it's the river! Look how massive it is. So we are, we've arrived at Mishka, right? No. King Oaks. King Oaks. And this is part of the Mishka. Part of the Mishka. The highway was built in 2003. Yeah, Not no, as recent, years. but still quite recent. Crazy amount of eagles, um, I'm sure you've heard by now. And we're just, we're just uh, walking down this path. Um, you can see, just getting some good photos. Check out our Instagram, it's uh, right here. <laughs> we'll put it right there on the screen somewhere. And what? Oh, there's an eagle landed, so we'll be right back. The uh, eagle sadly flew away. I didn't get too close, but got some cool shots. There's a really cool beach here. The rain is coming down. So the next one five is that eagles will build their nests in openings uh, because they like to see when potential predators are nearby and confront predators when uh, in comparison to hawks for the most part, but goshawks hawks particularly in this area, which build their nests in forests and like, like hidden in the forest because they would rather hide from potential predators than confront them. But a lot of the larger birds of prey, like eagles and osprey, will build their nest in the open because they can confront potential enemies. Fascinating. Cheers. We are back. Almost back home. Absolutely pouring down. Absolutely coming down. Good thing we didn't do the hike today. Not a chance we would have made it today. We made the right call for sure. Look at this. Oh my god. There's the bridge from uh, earlier. Can't even see it. Just the window. So we're <laughs> winging. <laughs> so Don't much. put it in. Just. <laughs> you can't go wrong with too much garlic. I think that's a rule. Do you're it. small in the comments and <laughs> you can't put too much garlic. Yeah, exactly. let us know if we're doing something wrong. Or don't, that's probably not yeah, a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> we don't let us know. <laughs> um, so, this is our attempt at a steak marinade. Ooh. It was <laughs> absolutely mm, gourmet. Mm. Liam Friesen, if you're watching this, I'm gunning for Top Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Oh baby! Oh la la! Yeah, look at that. Welcome to number two. All right. Well, we're cooking now. That's for sure. We're gonna First. die. We're gonna get like food poisoning. Well, <laughs> also leave comments on how to properly make a steak, please. <laughs> please help us. I don't have a barbecue. Oh, it's bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know it's good? I don't think that's good. Oh, it's steaming now. It's really going. We're making salad as well. Look at that. It smells pretty good. <laughs> we have little forks and <laughs> big knives. <laughs> <laughs> Steak. Pretty good. Good. Mm -hmm. More medium than I like, but yeah. Could but be we didn't want to die, so like, pretty good. Not bad for mm -hmm. first timers. Well, I guess we'll see you later. <laughs>